A late September afternoon, sometime before the turn of the century, and all the hills of Umbria were under cloud that day. I had flown to Italy at short notice on a mission for a friend and was driving a hire car southwards at speed along the shore of Lake Trasimene when a violent release of lightning flapped out of the sky like a thrown sheet before crashing shut again in a close collapse of thunder. The squall gusted towards me across the lake, erasing the island first and then the pleasure steamer making for the quay at Passignano. Moments later, the reed beds nearer inshore had gone and the tiny Fiat shuddered under the impact of the rain. I braked to a crawl. Lightning seared the clouds again, its glare prickling across my skin. With the windscreen awash, I could make out only the tail lights of the vehicle ahead, so at the first exit, I swung off the autostrada to park by the flooded edge of a road overlooking the lake. Rain pummeled the car's thin roof. It sprang in florets from the drenched asphalt. Through a streaming side window, I watched a horse prance nervously across its field. When I checked the map, counting the kilometres past Perugia and Foligno, up a steeply winding road into the hills, I reckoned on at least another hour's drive to Fontanalba. My plan had been to get to Marina's house quickly, say what I had come to say, and then hurry back to London before my life unravelled. The whole trip was supposed to take two days if I was lucky, three at the most. Either way, it was going to be an emotionally expensive time. Meanwhile, the storm showed no sign of abating, so I sat there in the heat, watching the lightning pitch and strike its lurid canopy across the lake. I remembered how Marina had once told me that lightning bolts, like kisses, are mutual affairs. They strike only when the descending charge is met by a stream of energy rising upwards from an object on the ground, a tree perhaps, or a person, one who might be utterly unconscious of the way his metabolism has been flirting with the idea of an electrical embrace. Yet the flash, when it comes, always happens by assignation. <laughs>